What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video again. Here we have the king is helpless now. He folded and he is forced to use the red wrench corda. So this this deciphering this decode is very interesting guys because he's like giving everyone a purpose and telling what everyone is doing. So the king is helpless now. He folded and is forced to use the red wrench R3 corda, right? The UNIMF doll is supervising and the hard cup indicates infiltration by IMF Ripple. The green eyes use the stare angry at Ripple as Nostro Vostro has been dropped. Button on the floor. Very interesting. So IMF is just a puppet. Don't think so. You do realize this is a riddle, don't you? So it's very interesting, guys. Everyone here has a function and a purpose. It's an interesting decode. Well, we have seen many. Which one is the true one? We don't know, guys. We just try to solve the riddle and connect the dots. Here we can see new glass onion machine learning. Now, I don't know if you have watched the movie, but you could see that this was the symbol. And on the paper, which was in the movie, you could see machine learning here, crypto management. And you can see that this is related to XRP because they just announced we continue enhancing our solutions to refine the customer experiences and make the payment process more efficient. And this year we added machine learning capabilities to our payment solution. Guys, the signs are everywhere. This is what the elites are doing. They are giving you signs. They like to give you signs. They do that. That's what they do, right? And this is what's going to happen. Ripple new protocol for international settlement, blockchain enabled cross-border e-commerce supply chain management, a biblium bibliometric systematic review driven by the internet-based advanced information technologies and logistics channel improvement the cross-border e-commerce industry keeps an increasing trend in chinese industrial market blockchain as an empowered technology contributes to the management innovations for industrial sectors the blockchain technology due to its transparency visibility and disintermediation Characteristics helps to improve operations management of cross-border e-commerce supply chain by innovative industrial applications. Now, I am telling you guys, XRP is not just for making payments. There is a lot of things that smart contracts will enable, right? And this is one of them. Of course, in combination with other cryptocurrencies that can manage logistics and other stuff, but every step there is payments guys and how do you think those payments are going to happen the ripple protocol is a new protocol for international settlement is widely used in distributed cross-border e-commerce payment systems due to blockchain technology adoption the ripples cross-border e-commerce payment system is associated with its network through a gateway facilitating the real-time payment for financial settlement institutions and banks it achieved through the Ripple network thus enabling global, real-time and decentralized cross-border payments. Decentralized, guys. Listen to that. Even institutions and banks notice that Ripple is actually the or that XRP is a decentralized system. They never say that it's a centralized system. Never. Understand what is going on here, guys. Remember when Wechan deleted all his social media? Well, he's also advisory board member at coin center whose main investor is consensus the ethereum foundation and ripple ripple rival stellar unveils impressive results of year now first of all this is so wrong guys ripple and stellar are not rivals there is a very big difference between the two yes they kind of do the same thing but listen xlm is not really working with banks as of the moment and doesn't have the partnerships it has it does have partnerships but it's very different than what ripple is actually doing ripple is kind of if you want the center and the on-demand liquidity that it has for all the payments that is going to happen and then we have all these other blockchain uh, solutions around it and here you can see during the years, Stellar also launched Soroban, a platform for creating smart contracts that now operates on the FutureNet testnet. At the same time, Soroban was launched, the organization lost a 100 million investment fund. Stellar is doing very well and is a great coin, guys. But 
it is different from Ripple. Don't think that they are rivals because they are not. Here we can see SEC attempts to seal crucial documents in XRP lawsuit with Ripple, right? This is from the beginning. They are trying, guys, to seal documents, to seal, to redact stuff. How can they be transparent if they want to redact stuff? The clear lack of relevance of these documents to the summary judgment motion should be weighed against the impact that release of the documents would have on the SEC's ongoing deliberations on a wide variety of issues. If these documents were made public, the Hinman speech documents reflect internal discussions and deliberations by numerous SEC officials. Now, you can guess what is going on there, guys. In September, District Judge Annalisa Torres ordered the SEC to release the Hinman files which the SEC has repeatedly tried to keep out of the courtroom, right? This is ongoing, guys. They don't want to release those documents and they have been asked a lot of times. Among the best gaslighting tactics of Ethereum Maxis has always been to point out how Ripple and its founders are dumping on the market, when in truth, XRP did better in the last bear market. Even with the SEC's free pass, probably because Lubin decentralized his ETH holdings. So the thing is, they all talk about XRP being centralized, that the coin is being dumped. But listen, it's very healthy for a coin to release its holdings over time, over a long period of time. This is a very positive thing in crypto. It always has been. If you go and look and want to invest in a crypto, you always look at the at the time that the holdings are being um, released. This is a very positive thing. But people now, they just they just want XRP to be centralized and want it to be bad because they can't handle it. This is the tweet of the year for me. 2023 is going to be explosive. All the elements are now taken. Google has earth, Apple has air, Amazon has fire, Ripple has water. Why guys, again, I have said this before, why do you think he's bringing up this tweet? He is literally categorizing Ripple with these giants because that's what it is. That's what it's going to become. And they they very well know what Ripple is going to be. They're telling you even. XRP Social mentions measured daily spike to 57k on Saturday. XRP wrapped on BSC has entered the list of top used smart contracts. Addresses holding between 1 to 10 million XRP tokens increased to all-time high. Something is coming. The XRP supply is in shock, guys. It is going to be in shock and price is going to fly. Ripple by 2024, at least 50% of the world's population is expected to use digital wallets for transactions. Wallet at over $9 trillion annually. That is insane, guys. That is absolutely insane and if you summarize this this is eight this is five and this is nine makes five eight nine that's the message in this because ripple officially tweeted this actually which is a signal as well once again another buried body in hinman's calendar i was going through an old transcript and discovered how ripple's lawyer points out that hinman met with fitalik we know from laura shin that hinman the sec had talked to bitherin on the phone on june 1 2018 again prove guys that ethereum just went through the books because how can you let something like that go why is ethereum not being prosecuted why is it not being sued it even had an ico right again seeing corruption is just very easy right now ripple wants to postpone discovery for half a year in zakonov case plaintiffs are resisting on the on the grounds that a ruling in the SEC case is not expected until late 2023 at the earliest and Ripple will likely ask for another extension after six months. This is not very common, guys. This will not happen. Before March, we are going to be settled with this case. And I know that a lot of people have been saying that, but it's true. That's the date, guys. That's the maximum date that you will get. And... The, the reason, because ISO 222 will be fully upgraded. No way that they are still going to be in this lawsuit. Not true. Prosecutors are simply calling the tokens commodities for their own prosecutorial reasons. Whether the underlying asset is a commodity or a security isn't important. The fraud is. 
calling it a security creates a unnecessary burden of proof. Very well said by Johnny Deaton. They just try to get things under their jurisdiction so they can handle it and make money of it, right? Very, very mean, very mean, guys. I believe a Ripple settlement would be great for XRP, but bad for most of crypto. I think it will be very good for crypto. You know why, guys? There are too many scams out there and too many bad cryptos, and this will regulate it, and this will actually give it meaning and looking at real-world use case cryptos, which actually have a function. Thank you very much, guys, for watching the video. See you in the next one. Cheers.